Scientists put meditators into fMRI machines, and what they discovered will completely change how you think about your brain. In just eight weeks of mindfulness practice, participants literally grew new brain tissue, shrunk their stress centers, and rewired their neural networks. But here's the shocking part. You don't need to meditate for hours. Google's secret employee program proved that just 10 minutes a day can transform your brain chemistry, reduce cortisol by 25%, and give you what researchers call mental superpowers. In the next seven minutes, I'll show you the exact neuroscience behind mindfulness and the simple technique that's literally reshaping brains around the world. Let's start with a hard truth. Your brain is under attack. Every day, your stress hormone cortisol is flooding your system. A little cortisol is good. It helps you run from danger. But chronic cortisol? It's destroying your brain, causing anxiety, insomnia, weight gain, brain fog, and even heart disease. The average person today has cortisol levels that would have been considered a medical emergency just 50 years ago. We're living in a state of constant fight or flight, and our brains are paying the price. But then, something incredible happened. Scientists at the University of Wisconsin put meditation practitioners into brain scanners and discovered something that shocked the medical world. After just eight weeks of mindfulness practice, participants showed measurable brain changes. Their prefrontal cortex, the brain's CEO responsible for decision-making and focus, literally got thicker. Their amygdala, the panic button that triggers fight or flight, actually shrunk, and their gray matter, the brain's fertile soil, grew denser in areas controlling memory and emotional regulation. Let me break down these three game-changing discoveries. First, the prefrontal cortex thickening. This is like upgrading your brain's operating system. Better decision-making, stronger focus, improved self-control. Second, amygdala shrinkage. Your threat detector stops seeing danger everywhere. False alarms decrease. You become calmer under pressure. Third, increased gray matter density. Think of gray matter as your brain's muscle tissue. The more you have in key areas, the better you process emotions and stay centered during chaos. Here's where it gets really fascinating. Scientists discovered something called the default mode network. It's like your brain's background chatter when you're not focused on anything specific. This network is, well, responsible for things like daydreaming, worrying about the future, ruminating about the past, and even self-criticism. Honestly, it's basically where mental suffering lives. Researchers at Yale University found that experienced meditators had much quieter default mode networks. And, when their minds wandered, they caught it faster and returned to the present a lot quicker. This is mental freedom. You stop believing every thought your brain generates. Now let's talk about probably the most famous real-world application of this science. At Google, software engineer Chad Meng Tan created a program called Search Inside Yourself. It started out as an internal experiment, combining mindfulness with neuroscience and leadership training. The results were so powerful that thousands of Google employees went through the program. They reported things like reduced stress, better decision-making, improved teamwork, and even greater creativity. The program became so successful it actually spun off into a global nonprofit. Meng's simple philosophy was, if you can train a muscle, you can train attention. But what about the stress hormone we talked about earlier? Multiple studies now show that consistent mindfulness practice dramatically lowers cortisol levels. One study found a 25% reduction in just eight weeks. Lower cortisol means, you know, better sleep, improved immune function, clearer thinking, and reduced anxiety. Your body literally stops living in emergency mode. It's like switching from running on adrenaline to running on premium fuel. Think of your mind like a wild puppy, 
It runs around, chases its tail, barks at everything. Traditional approaches try to punish the puppy for being energetic. Mindfulness is different. It's patient training, teaching the puppy to sit, stay, and come when called. The more you train, the stronger your attention muscle becomes. So, when your mind starts spinning, replaying embarrassing moments, worrying about deadlines, criticizing your appearance, you don't have to go along for the ride. You can notice it happening, smile inwardly and say, oh, there's my brain doing what brains do, then gently return to the present moment. So, how do you start building this mental fitness? Here's the technique Google employees use. Find a comfortable position, close your eyes, and focus on your breath for just 10 minutes. When your mind wanders, and it will, gently bring it back to breathing. That's it. You're not trying to stop thoughts or achieve some mystical state. You're training your attention muscle. Each time you notice your mind wandering and bring it back, you're doing a rep in your mental gym. This simple practice is literally reshaping your brain, reducing your stress hormones, and giving you the mental superpowers that science has now proven. Your challenge. Try this 10-minute brain training for just one week. Notice how differently you feel when stress hits. If you want to see more science-backed techniques for mental fitness, hit that subscribe button. I'm breaking down the latest neuroscience research and turning it into practical tools you can use today. Drop a comment. What's one mental habit you want to change using the power of brain science? Let's build a community of people literally rewiring their brains for better lives.